Welcome across fans. One spot left in the semi-final matchups for this year's AGLA Championship. And that'll be determined here tonight in Scottsdale, Arizona at Pinnacle High School as they host the South Point Lancers coming up from Tucson, Arizona. First draw went out of bounds without possession, so they're going to set this up again. Pinnacle coming in with a great season tonight, 10 and 1. Only one defeat on the season coming from Chandler. Otherwise, a perfect season here for Pinnacle and Yuski on the first draw here. Picked up. I think Savannah Sula had it, but actually Ari Jacobs, Ari Jacobs, number 11 here from South Point, gets the first draw control. South Point having the best season in program history. Came in ranked number seven to the playoffs. And got a win in the first round of the playoffs over their local hometown rivals, Oro Valley. And earning their trip up here to Pinnacle. These teams met earlier in the season, almost a month ago now. Pinnacle with the win then, I believe it was 15-4 score. But the South Point team come a long way. Had a really impressive showing against undefeated Chandler a couple weeks ago. Holding Chandler to the lowest number of scores they've had all season. As Izzy Shimba comes up with a great early save here. A nice transition being done from Pinnacle as they pass up to Gretchen Yuski coming over the restraining line. And looking for Maddie Hunt on the doorstep, but good crash and defense here by the Lancers, forcing Pinnacle back out. Now Delaney McEwen at the top of the 12, feeds inside to Davis. Davis has to walk it back out. And apologize if you're picking up any wind in the mics. It's a very windy night out here at Pinnacle. We got a lightning storm blowing through behind us and a little bit of concern. We could end up with a weather delay in this game if it gets too close. They are keeping an eye on it. But again, very windy here on the field. Izzy Caputi driving around, again, seeing a lot of composure and solid fundamental defense from the South Point team. Same thing we saw in the Chandler game, where I think they surprised a lot of folks in the league with their presence this year. Pass inside the middle, looked like Hunt took a little bit of contact on the head. But Brent Davis picks up the ball before it's out of bounds, keeps play with Pinnacle. And South Point definitely playing with some physicality early in the game here. Going to be testing these officials, seeing how much they're going to let them play. Usually the playoff games tend to see a little bit more contact allowed from the officials, trying to let the players play. This is Ava Muniz in the cage for South Point tonight, looking to clear it out. And Carly Keller in transition, number 25. For South Point as they make a successful defensive stop. Nice. Here's Elizabeth Stan. And again, South Point not the flashiest team, but great ball control this season. Just again, good fundamental lacrosse. They've been very effective on the draw and at ground balls. And again, getting that first home playoff game that they've earned in the history of the program just a few days ago. As Ari Jacobs tries to work through 
But so far, what's been a defensive matchup early in this game. With almost four minutes off the clock, still scoreless here at Pinnacle. Here's Tegan Mitschke on the 12 meter, going to get the free position restart. Passes over to Jacobs, comes around, looking for the shot, but gets fouled inside the eight. This is going to set Ari Jacobs up with a free position shot. Jacobs driving in, looking for that shot. She's got the low angle, finds the bottom right corner. Saw point on the board first. We're talking with head coach Simon Keller. Before the game, super excited about the team and the way they've played this season. Coming in here and you're just looking for them to play their game. A lot of newer players on this team, but he said they've been putting in the work and really thinks it all starts at the draw control. One of the interesting strategies from South Point, head coach here, he doesn't tell the players which player has to take the draw. He's got four draw specialists on his team. Tegan Mitschke and Brianna Mitschke, the sisters, number 8 and 14, as well as Carly Keller, number 25, and Ari Jacobs, who you see now on the draw. He lets the four of them decide who's going to take the draw, and he trusts them to make that decision. And it's been working well for him so far this season. And Maddie Hunt comes in, gets the draw in for Pinnacle. Gets it passed up to Sousa. Now Pinnacle back on attack. Looking for that feed inside to Davis, but McEwen with the recovery. Nice look on the doorstep to Sousa and saved by Nunez. Ball just outside the goal circle here, still in play as we fight for this GB. And Yuski finally picking it back up for Pinnacle. Passes up top, looking for the quick shot. I think we're going to get a dangerous shot here from Izzy Caputi. Dangerous follow through. It's going to be the first yellow of the game. And Caputi's going to head out for two minutes. And South Point gets the power play as that distinct smell of rain washes over the field. Again, going to be keeping a close eye on the weather here. Just keep in mind, if there's been three quarters of play, 75% of the game, they can conclude the game as finished. They won't have to reschedule. Looked like Yuski may have lost her cleat. A lot of these players have their cleats double knotted, so not easy to get them back on quickly. I think Brent Davis looking back to confirm if play had actually started. South Point looking to double here. They did, They got the player up advantage. And Pinnacle doesn't look to be driving and taking a shot. Just trying to hold the ball, run out the penalty.
Ipsiza looking for the lane. She draws that shooting space call inside the eight. As Caputi still waiting for that time to expire. Souza going to get the center hash. Again, Ava Muniz in the cage for the Lancers. And South Point defense able to get in there and get a stick on the shot. Deflects it over the top of the cage and backed up by South Point. So successful defense as Tilly Thompson, number 33, brings it back in. Get things going here for South Point. And penalty's been released as Caputi makes her way back on the field. Even strength. Now Munez looking to clear this out. Now Munez out of the cage. Caputi defending. Munez decides to walk this one up. She's up the restraining line. Passes over top. Had a few open players, but not able to hit a target. So ground ball whistle called. Down and rebuild. Game just back underway as we're on a soaked field now. We'll have a big giant red cell passing over the field. But the lightning's clear and the officials cleared the game. And we got out here quickly.
borings out here to get some heavy water out on this bottom left side of the field from the camera point of view, so almost where the play is heading right now. There was a huge amount of water on the field, too much to play, and they actually have to come out and sweep that water off the field in order for this game to get going again. So a lot of committed folks here.
comes in and is able to beat Jacobs this time and get the draw in for Pinnacle. South Point ball. Ellie Keller on a restart for the Lancers. Breaking up the shot and creating the GB opportunity. Full circle violation called. And so here we go, see it number two. For the Lancers, so ball back over to Pinnacle. As if the booty gets things going. And 10 seconds on the clock, as Pinnacle tries to get a shot off here. Being able to get a little bit of recover. Either way, that's going to do it for the first half here. I hit it too. I'm going to go up 6 4 or something. Let's go! 
Vogel's had a nice one-on-one -on -one shot against Schimber there. Evelyn Vogel comes in and breaks things up, but Jacob's able to keep the ball from South Point. Down, running some substitutions here, trying to keep fresh legs on the field. Mitchell comes around, and Novak looking for that shot. Mitchell fires one, saved by Schindler. Knocked right back down by Bree Mitchell. Mitchell. Prince Keller calls a timeout. The South Point has possession here inside the CSA. 747 on the clock here in the third, tied up 6 6.
certainly something to keep an eye on this clock. They have 444 to finish off this quarter. And another storm comes in and the game gets delayed again for weather. It wouldn't be delayed, they would just call the game complete and the the score in. So certainly a possibility still that we're going to get the full four quarters here tonight. As Evelyn Vogel sets to restart things for Pinnacle.
goes through and not able to do it. I think she's going to get a
this point, Davis fires one. Venus with a big stop. And now a fight for the ball here after the stop. The hold is called against Pinnacle. Going to be Lancer's ball as they bring this back for the restart. Ari, you got to help! Good night here in this playoff game. With some critical stops keeping South Point in the game. Sofia Garcia passes back to Nunez. Nunez certainly seems aware of what she can and can't do. You see a lot of goalies come out of that goal circle, and even after they've been played, they just continue to stay out when they can go back in. Nunez Concord and Flacco as she stays in and doesn't throw the pressure to come out and make the right opportunity. this, 8-11 on the clock. Side. That's a shot. And Ava Nina is coming up with another big stop. Getting the knockdown. Fight for the ground ball here. Whistle. Giving the pinnacle. Well, here. 
Souza has the ball behind the net. So far, the characteristic of the game already looking very much like they're for. A lot of patience on both sides. Both teams waiting here for the right opportunity. Good pressure defense from South Point. McEwen looking for that feed inside the hunt. All taken away. 14, Bree Mitchke for the Lancers. Gets the possession back. Now Nina is going to clear it out. Thank you. 
hold. And we see some jockeying out on the circle for possession. Seconds time running out for South Point to do anything here. Yuski oh, yeah. getting some pressure. And Mitski passes over to Souza. Coming around down to 10 seconds here. Savannah Souza now getting pressured outside. Seconds passing back over to Hunt and up to McKeel. And that's going to be a Oh, perfect. Way to go, Pentecost! Oh, 